if I have a system a system of of uh, if I have a system of linear equations and I want to solve them, there's three basic ways for two variable equations that I'd want to do that that we learn um, a little bit of in algebra one and especially in algebra two. And one of those ways that we solve is by graphing. So normally that's going to be the easiest way if we're already solved for y. So there's going to be three examples here where we're already solved for y. We're just graphing to find what our oops, what our um, answer is to the system of equations. Our system of equations, your answer that you get is what x equals and what y equals. So if we graph two lines, what we're looking for is where they, that point where they intersect. So let's graph this first one up here, which I'm going to graph in blue. To graph y equals negative 7 halves x minus 4, I'd go down 4, and that's my y-intercept. My slope is negative 7 over 2, so we can think of that like negative 7 over 2, where I'd go down 7, right 2, but I don't really have room, so I can also think of it as positive 7 over negative 2, so I'd go up 7 and left 2. Okay, and this is probably going to be a really bad line. Yep, but what, <laughs> what really matters is what my actual, um, where my points are, because they're going to intersect at a point, not like at a, like at a fraction. Um, on the second one, y equals 1 half x plus 4, I'd go up to 4, and then my slope is positive 1 half, so that's up 1 over 2. Okay, but headed that way, I'm not going to end up intersecting. I have to go back this direction, and then you can see where I'm going to intersect right here. So if I draw this line, which I got a little bit better, okay, then we can see that the point where these are intersecting is right here, which is at negative 2, comma 3. Okay, so that's the solution to this set of equations. I just had to graph each one, look at where they intersect, and then find that point for my answer. So on this problem, my graphing is the work, and this is my answer, this point. So you have to, if your teacher says solve by graphing, you have to show both of those. You can't just say, oh, I got this answer. They want you to graph it, so you need to make sure to have that graph. Um, on the next one, uh, Let's graph these two lines. So I'm going to go down to 2. And then if I have negative 5 for this slope, that's either like negative 5 over positive 1 or positive 5 over negative 1. Okay, well, I can't really think of it the first way because I don't have room. So I'm going to go up 5 and left 1 to that point. <laughs> Sorry that this is ridiculously awful, um, straight line-wise, I mean. Okay, so then the second one, I'd start at a positive 2, and then this is like negative 1x. So either I'm going down 1, right 1, or I'm going up 1, left 1. Well, down 1, right 1 isn't really going to help me out very much, but if I go up 1, left 1, there's my intersection. Oh, much better line there. Okay, so the point where they intersect, which is my answer, is this right here. So that is at negative 1, 3, which was very close to what the one before this was. But um, you see, I just see where they intersect, and then that's my answer. Now, on these systems of equations, there are special cases that we can have, which is going to come up in this one. Okay, if I have y-intercept of 1 and my slope is up 1 over 4, and then remember we can always go the opposite direction. Okay, that's my first line. Then if I graph my second line, I'm starting at negative 3 and I'm going up 1 over 4, and then down 1 over 4. And so what we would ask ourselves on a problem like this is, are my lines ever going to meet? 
Well, in this case, no, they're not ever going to meet because if I look, they're the same distance apart. Okay, and there's a reason for that. If I have the same slope for two lines, then those are parallel lines. Okay, parallel lines have the same slope. So their y-intercepts will be different, but their slopes will be the same. Well, they're never going to intersect, so that means that this is no solution. Okay, there isn't a solution to this problem because they're not going to intersect. Um, if you were given a case like, just to edit this a little, 1 fourth x plus 1 as your first equation, and then y equals 1 fourth x plus 1 as your second equation. Now, they wouldn't actually do that. They'd give you something that you had to solve for y, but when you solve for y, you'd get the same thing. If they're the exact same equation, and they ask you to graph it, well, those give you the same exact line, and the answer to that problem, it's not what I was about to write, is infinitely many solutions. Okay, because we are drawing the same line twice, one on top of each other. It's like I drew this line, and then I came back, and I drew this line right over it. Well, how many times do those intersect? They intersect, like, all along here. They intersect right here, they intersect right here, they intersect right here and I can just keep drawing points because there's infinitely many points where those intersect. So if you end up ever with the exact same equation, it's infinitely many solutions. Okay, so that's in a nutshell how you solve a system of equations by graphing.